Better hurry, spark it up with no worries. Harmonious gang with the big bro, Yuri. Hyphy, get lit just like me. Big boss up, chop it up with Riley. You better come with it or kick rocks, cause you now tuned in to 10 Talks. Now let's get lifted and take a shot. You are now tuned in to 10 Talks. Yo. Hello. What's up, guys? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for another episode of 10 Talks. We're here for episode 145. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. Cheers, it's everyone. It's a big day today. I know. I feel exhausted. I'm sorry if I, uh, if I may sound like a little tired. I literally just took like a 20-minute nap. Yeah, we're literally so tired. We were like, I was like sitting down and then... And then I just fell asleep. The past two days, we haven't been getting that much sleep. But. Cheers, guys, to 145. Let's go. Cheers. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's finally sunny outside, so I'm, like, really happy about that. Yeah. It's been super gloomy the past couple months, it feels like. These are the types of days that you, like, want to be outside. You're just, yeah, like, you but... feel guilty for staying inside. You're like, damn, it's such a nice day outside. You want to be at least just walk around or something. Exactly. So yeah, it was really cool, but, uh, well, it was really cool, but <laughs> the day's really cool, I guess, but anyways, yo, W everyone that's in here, guys, Riley and I did a bunch of stuff today. Number one, actually, hold on, before we, uh, you know, get into everything that we want to talk about today, like always, we got to give a huge shout out to all the, um, uh, to all the members we have on this channel, so hold on, let me, uh, pull up the members thing really quick, W all the members that we have w here. W members. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and, uh, like, so far, the only thing that comes with the membership is, um... Uh, the emotes and also just like a way to support the channel as well but yo w um all the members once again w popo w wasted potential uh jugman 710 skater late jimmy smith willy will 210 westside loco thrift and flip hella crisp and ayazi thank you guys so much man we appreciate That's you guys good. thank you guys and they've all been uh members for four months at this point bro you guys are uh, you guys are loyal i know thank you guys so much man appreciate you guys uh okay so I wanted to talk about that first. Sorry, <laughs> I had like a weird burp that was uh, like felt like it was coming, but then it didn't come out. Like I was about to like make myself uh, throw up. Ooh. Ugh. Like you know when you force Gag. it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, but uh, what's it called? Like I keep getting confused on the name. Biggest Bros Connections, I believe, is the thing, right? But Blazzy mm. has been talking about how he he wants to throw these like monthly events, like once a month. It's like a, a event where, um. You know, weed vendors and um, and like you know, loose leaf and like other types of vendors can come through, set up set up shop, and then like you know, it's a place to just come, kick it, chill, get some food. It, it seemed like any type of vendor. Like there is people selling rugs, people selling weed, people selling clothes. Exactly. Like it's like anything that you would expect Blazzy to be into or yeah. surrounded by. Like there, there's gonna be like a vendor there. You know what I mean? But this this was the second one so far, and uh, this one was super cool. But like what what sucks about this situation today was there was no service there, guys. Like a soon as we get there our phones were barely working you know what i mean but like my phone was i've had worse service on my phone it wasn't like the yeah. worst but like it was it was just super super slow and i was like oh shit dude um uh i ended up try like i tried to stream and on my uh on my like live view it tells you like uh how much um kbps you're getting it's like how much internet service you're getting and to stream i need minimum like 3,500 but usually my my live views like around 5,000 to 7,000 inside that room that shit kept bouncing between like 200 400 and like 500 the whole time which is like super super low it's like not enough service to stream at all um and then like uh eventually uh, later on like brick told me he's like oh i can get you the wi-fi but he seemed like he was busy walking around uh, recording and stuff so i probably would have had to wait for him to come back get the wi-fi it was just a whole thing i was just like nah like let's just Let's just get out of here at that point. Yeah. But, but Yuri did come prepared this time, y'all. Yes. We got up early. Yuri, I had to get the ingredients, and Yuri made all the lemonade by himself. I was so proud of him. Yes. Uh, the chat was right. Like, once again, they were like, uh, well, not really. Well, I, I was saying that we should get the stuff last night. But okay, no. But it was so late. Yes. But I was telling you Ralph's is open. Yeah, but we also needed pictures. Yeah. And I was like, we might as well get the pictures from 99 cents. and not Because I know they're going to be expensive as fuck at Ralph's. Yeah. But uh, Riley was right where last night I, um, we got, we, wait, what did we do last night where we got home from something? 
Oh, uh, Token and I. You well, guys, yeah. yeah you guys to went out. Token and I went to go do an IRL stream yesterday. Um, and then uh, once we got back, uh, I, like, I should have really just gone to sleep. But I told Riley, I was like, oh, I'm not really sleepy. I was like, I think I just want to do a quick uh, kick stream. I was like, I just want to go live for 30 minutes while I smoke a spliff. And Riley's like, you're not going to be live for 30 minutes. And I ended up being live for like an hour and 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, that definitely like ruined how much sleep I got today. Because I had to wake up uh, like at 10, like 10.30ish I woke up. Actually, no, it was 10. I woke up at 10. I woke up at 9. Because I had to get started on the on all the stuff. Riley woke up at 9. She went to go grab all the ingredients, all the lemonade, the pitchers and stuff. And then once she got back, she started working on it. And I was like, nah, like, let me do all the stuff while you go get ready and shit. Because Riley takes forever to get ready. So uh, I started uh, making the lemonade. Guys, I washed my hands. All the utensils, everything were clean. I was very cleanly. Um, <laughs> I didn't have the sniffles in the morning. It just came out of nowhere right now. But uh, it... It was very clean and uh, a chill process. And also, like, uh, you get way more juice out of lemons than you do oranges, for sure. I've noticed that. It did not take that many lemons to fill up, you know, a couple cups. I think the skin is thicker on an orange. The you, peel. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. I don't know, though. I just feel like there's just not, not as much juice in there or something like that. But um, the I was trying to follow this one recipe on, like, l making lemonade. And it was saying to use two cups of sugar. And I thought... Maybe that's like two, like I don't know, like a teacup or something like uh, like else that they're uh, referencing. But like no, they they really wanted two cups of sugar yeah. in the lemonade, and I was like, dude, that's not uh, okay. I was like, that's too much sugar. So I put first one cup. I I put it by half. I put one cup of sugar, and then Riley was like, it's still too sour. So I put uh another half. Wait, what, yeah, it was like a half cup. Yeah, I put a half cup. Yeah, yeah, I think wait, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it was like a, it was. No, 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 no. Okay, no. It, the, it, the recipe asked for uh, two. Wait, was it two? Yeah, it asked for two cups. I put one cup, and then you said it wasn't enough, and then we put another half cup. So yeah. it was, oh, yeah, it was a cup and a half of sugar in each one. And I think it was fine. I like it. Yeah, I think it was good too. Everybody was fucking with it. And also, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys remember, but we had this uh, really uh, good chef come through to Biggest Bros to like cook his food one time. And he was there at the event, and I had him try it. I was like, yo, dude, like, you're the chef. You know what I mean? Like, you would know. Uh, if this is good or bad or whatever and then uh, he tried it and he was like he was like this is good he was like bro this is really good because he said that you know a lot of people overly dilute lemonade with like sweets where it's not even like tangy or sour anymore and he said like a lemonade is supposed to be a little sour it's lemonade you know so I was like alright let's go I fuck with that but we got, yeah. we got rid of everything <laughs> I like my lemonade a little sour too yeah right I don't um, like it too sweet bro we ended up making three three gallons of lemonade bro each pitcher was a gallon so it was three gallons of lemonade to transport them was a, a real <laughs> pain dude i had to like walk in front of like the whole line of people like waiting to get into the venue holding all these heavy ass pitchers it was so heavy i was like fuck bro i hope i don't drop them right now it'd be so embarrassing but uh regardless the event was super cool um i think i'm just gonna continue doing the free lemonade thing it's really not expensive you know what i mean like yeah it's like it's a good funny stream idea I get to kick it there if there's good service but um and also just provide some free drinks because it is cool to like go to a venue where in la everywhere you go it's like everything you got to pay for everything you know what I mean? like how much does that cost how much does that cost it's cool to go like you have like one thing free that, yeah. that's just given out yeah i agree especially when everybody's smoking you got cotton mouth walking around yeah that sucks that'd be so hyped exactly <laughs> and i'll say i'll um Shout out to Ping, the dude uh, I met who was, like, sitting right next to me. He was telling me, he's like, bro, like, why don't you have a sign? Like, a free lemonade sign. <laughs> I should, that's where I messed up. I should have got a sign. Yeah. So next time, oh, we're doing better and better every single time. <laughs> Last time was a complete shit show. This time. Last time was a mess. Yeah, it was a super mess. This uh, this time, two of the, okay, so when I was making the lemonades, guys, one of the pitchers, I had I had, uh, I had the pitchers, I already put all the lemon juice in all of them, right? So I was like, all right, now I need to put water. The first pitcher I got I filled it to the brim with water. And I realized, I'm like, wait a minute. There's no space for the ice or sugar and stuff like that. And I was like, god damn it. So one of the lemonades had no ice in it the whole day. So that one was like lukewarm. Um, and we served that one last. So it's probably even warmer towards the end of the day. But uh, two of the other ones that I had uh, that I was making, I remembered to add the ice. So I added like a bunch of ice. But by the time we got to the event, all the ice had melted. So it was, it was still ice cold lemonade, but there was just no ice. Yeah. A couple people were like... Is there no ice? I'm like, nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> I was like, it's cold, though. Be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it's free. <laughs> but next time, um, next time, the, yeah, bring bags of ice and a cooler for sure. Bring your own ice, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Anyways. Yeah, bring your own ice if you come to our lemonade stand. Also, shout out to the people who came up and said hi to us. Oh, yes, exactly. Shout out to... Uh, Adrian. Adrian. The, we met the dude. I got... we Yeah, we got to meet the guy who made the 10 Talks shot glasses, guys. The ones that we still want... We still want to release them, guys. We still want to release them, but it's... Uh, it's a whole process bro it's like you know blasi makes it seem One so thing e at a time yeah blasi <laughs> makes it seem so easy with all the stuff that he does but it's very it's like you know it's not very complicated but it's like you know it ain't easy but anyways we, we still want to drop the 10 talks uh, shot glasses regardless we met the dude who made them and i was like no way bro i was like what the hell he's like yeah he's like i sent you those uh those glass those shot glasses not only did he make and send the shot glasses to us but he told us we can have the logo and have the design and we can like print the glasses and make them so that was cool meeting him we met uh, Angelina Angelina yes Angelina was really cool she gave me a sticker like an orange sticker that she got she <laughs> said her like uh, dad or uncle gave it to her yeah she was like my uncle went to a farmer's market and he like came home with a box of oranges and then they had like orange stickers in it and I was just like aw <laughs> you're probably like this <laughs> that's funny that would be Angelina um what's it called there was like a couple that came up to us there was like two couples uh, it's it's hard to remember everyone's name guys because I am a stoner but like bro W all the harmonious gang I came there with uh nine lighter sleeves right uh of the like the turquoise ones and i was thinking to myself like all right i'll give i'll give out five of them you know what i mean i was like i'll give out five of them and i want to keep myself three i ended up giving all of them away so <laughs> i have no lighter sleeve dude i have no lighter sleeve left for myself so um also uh i, I did get to keep myself one keychain so i gave out all the keychains and all the lighter sleeves people were happy though they were hyped yeah and also um Shout out to the Kush Cowboys cult. I can't really read this. Uh, the Kush Cowboys or the yeah the Cowboys Kush Collective, I believe. Shout out to them. Um, he saw my video that I made on Instagram of like this weed um, um, collage of bags or whatever, and I guess he made the Codeine Cowboy Syrup one. And that that, that bear uh, that bag right there gets like a lot of attention. People are just like, whoa, what the hell? Like a bag that looks like a lean bottle. It looks really cool, but he, it's huge. He told me he's like, yo, I saw your video. He's like, that was a uh, that was uh, my brand. He's like, here's this one right here as, uh, as well. So yo, thank you so much, man, Kush Cowboy. I appreciate you, bro. We're definitely gonna try this out today. Um, but yeah, no, that that event was super cool. I wanted I want to do it better next time. I really just gotta wake up earlier and get there earlier. <coughs> yeah. No, going to sleep so late the yeah. night before. You really got to cough outside of the mic. Sorry. I know. <laughs> um, what else? People kept thinking, like, uh, also, people kept thinking that, like, the lemonade was, like, mixed with, like, either vodka or weed. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? And, like, the They're weed... Like, it's just lemonade? Yeah. The weed is understandable because it's, like, all weed stuff there. And I was just like, oh, yeah. It kind of does look like it. But then also, when I posted that photo, I was like, bro, it looks like three pictures of just different, you know, uh, dehydration levels of pee yeah i didn't it needed some ice for sure what's even funnier is i put my harmonious sticker on them and uh uh the harmonious stickers for orange juice and we're selling freaking lemonade they're like dude. this is some off <laughs> yeah exactly so nice i think shit. i think next time i want to actually make uh orange juice so next time uh we're gonna bring actual orange juice um and maybe lemonade as well or something like that i think three gallons is more than enough i think three gallons is more than enough you know what i mean i think that's fine yeah that was and smaller cups yeah i think what, what i'll do is like i'll do the free lemonade shit and i'll just bring merch with me and if anyone wants to like purchase merch from us uh we could do that as well but we need a sign you know what i mean like a sign that that's yeah. that's up and whatever it is but that event is super <laughs> interesting i was uh telling riley i was just like damn uh, well um if for anyone that went to the event guys i really wish i was able to stream it blazy had like 40 people in front of his line the whole time dude at all times like he had like 40 people in front. yeah every single person there damn near had a nothing personal shirt on there was like a huge line out the door too yeah people it, just waiting to get in we thought we were like hella late it was insane but we were really... i feel um i feel bad paul lord wasn't able to show up because i think he said he got a little bit too lit last night <laughs> Um, cause you know, like we were all streaming with him last night. Then he said he went to go meet up with Allie and a bunch of girls or some shit like that. And it was like someone's birthday. So I don't know, but he, it sounds like he just got way lit last night. Probably went, it went, was to, a lit night. Went, went to sleep late, but, um, unfortunately a parlor wasn't able to show up, but I think house won't show up after we did. I wanted to stay longer. My plan was to stay there like damn near the whole day and, uh, start 10 talks later. But, uh, the fact that the service is not working, I was like, all right, dude, we, we got to go. Yeah. It was just, like, a little pointless. And that's not the live, you guys. Like, Riley was saying, like, just go live off your phone. I'm like, bro, like, my phone doesn't have any service either. I'm like, there's nothing I could do here. Yeah, it was all bad. 
It was all bad, but it was cool. It was a cool event. I feel like they had like a Wi-Fi blocker or something like that. And they're like an internet blocker. It was blocker. the building, I swear. No, I walked outside. I was like, I'm going to go outside and see if the service is better there. No. Oh, my God. You want to hear? <laughs> okay, I have to pee really quick. I should have went before. Okay, so. you good. Uh, bro, you want to hear a hear rough story? Is When we got there, um, I was like telling Ryan, I was like, I don't want to start the stream until I eat. Because I don't want to do the, I didn't want to go through the same thing last time, which is like being super hungry, being live trying to get food while trying to get the lemonade stand going i was like all right i want to get food get the stand ready and then we'll go live and then we'll just you know get straight to business type shit right so uh we got ta uh riley got tacos for me and she got flautas for her right the tacos were hella good dude but these like were not small tacos they're big tacos where you know just see hella chunks of meat like laying on it right i got two tacos i ate uh one of them and then I really, really had to pee. I was like, fuck, dude, I got to go, uh, you know, I got to go take a piss. So I was like, I'll be back. I'll be back in a second. I, w I went to go use the bathroom. Uh, Riley, apparently, you know, uh, they just let her go use the, the employee bathroom. I didn't get that privilege. They made me go use the fucking uh, the porta potty, dude. I went to go to the porta potty. As soon as I opened it, it just like it's a porta potty, bro. Like you, you just see inside the hole. Like, it was, like there's no avoiding it, bro. I open the door, I look inside, and then boom, I just see diarrhea, bro. And like, it ruined my appetite. Like it looked very similar to like the chunks of meat in my taco and shit. And I just like, I opened that door and I was like, great, dude. As soon as I opened that door and I saw it, I was like, I'm not gonna finish that other taco, bro. I was like, it's over with. So that was kind of a waste. But that taco was hella fucking bomb. Um, regardless, but it was so funny when I came back from using that bathroom, I was like, because Riley had used the bathroom before me, and I was like, babe, I was like, I I can't believe you used that bathroom and you know didn't even complain about it or say anything to me. And she's like, she's like, what are you talking about? She's like, I used the the nice bathroom on the inside. I'm like what i'm like what nice bathroom on the inside and then i, I looked at what she was talking about said employees only like staff only bathroom? yeah well i didn't even tell you this babe but like when i went to go use the bathroom um i don't want to bring it up because you were still eating too mm -hmm. but when i went to go use the bathroom and i opened up the freaking oh, porta potty i just instantly saw just like a pile of poop and diarrhea and it just ruined my appetite that's also why i was like i don't even want to finish my taco no more that dude. sounds disgusting it was rough i didn't have to deal with that thank god it was gross um anyways uh i'm trying to remember like everything that happened today so we can like not leave anything out but i think that's about it dude w yeah, the, the harmonious gang w everyone we saw there that was that was really cool hopefully next time um it'll be at a different venue if it's at the same venue next time i'm just not gonna go because i know there's not gonna be any service and that's not the live use fault bro there's just no service in that area but yeah um yeah hopefully we'll see beans dude i told you to go to the hallway anyways my bad my bad guys um <laughs> Where's my phone? Also, yo, uh, guys, I have big news. Uh, um, Harmonious Hour is officially returning this Wednesday. I still haven't asked uh, Ricky Glazer yet, but I want to ask Ricky Glazer if he's down to come on Harmonious Hour so I can talk to him about his, like, Russia trip and shit like that as well. But um, I would want to do one with Ricky Glazer. There's a couple other people I'd like to hit up. But one person I hit up, guys, like, three, four months ago, um, I DM Mr. THC after meeting him uh, during the Dollar Minute stream. I was like, yo, uh... Would you, you know, would you now be down to come on Harmonious Hour? And he said he would be down, like, months ago, and then, you know, we just never followed up on it. And uh, he randomly just messaged me, like, a couple, you know, maybe, like, a week ago, saying, like, yo, dude, uh, I'm going to be in town. You want to do that podcast? And I was like, bro, no way. I was like, he actually followed up and shit. So um, we did the podcast on Friday. I think it was a Friday. And um, it wasn't live. We, we re recorded it, and I haven't posted it yet, obviously. It's going to be coming out this Wednesday. But, um, uh which I'm gonna call it uh, <laughs> harmonious hour is supposed to come out on Wednesdays. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to just do a random live harmonious hour. It's like, I'm just going to premiere it on Wednesdays. And then we'll, like, harmonious hours, like it will be a mixture of premieres and, and, uh, and lives. Cause sometimes people's schedules don't align to come on Wednesday at a certain time, you yeah. know, uh, uh, either as well. That was hard. That's what was hard for you to get. Yeah, exactly. Like people are busy, yeah. and shit, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, but God. either way, dude, the podcast, I don't want to, talk about too much because like i don't want to leak anything but there's so many inter i keep telling riley i want riley to watch it because there's so many interesting things um that, that uh, we were talking about during that pod bro like his old jobs and shit at the car dealership uh, bro i don't want to leak it, uh, like too much stuff but it, it was it was so funny man i'm excited for that pod to come out on a on a wednesday and w uh mr thc for coming through i asked him i was like yo dude like you want to stay a little bit longer to do a, a freaking um a stream together but he had to go to rolling loud he's like oh like, he's super busy bro like yeah, he, he was booked and busy he like you, you you guys will see in the in the episode where he basically says that like once he's free like he will basically 
um, make his schedule like completely filled up. Where he said on his way to LA, he had collaborated with four other people. Then he's here in LA. Then he's gonna collaborate and do a bunch of content. Then he's gonna go right back and go back to being a dad. And then go right back to all this. It was, I was like, bro, he has a crazy, crazy schedule. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yes. Uh, also, the reason why, like, I feel like maybe if I had not taken so long in the beginning, he could have stayed a little bit longer. But he told me from the beginning he was like a little bit in a rush, but he had he had some time, you know. And uh, I was getting the podcast already. I was I was you know getting the table set up, uh, getting the camera set up, and um, I had like literally a giant a cup of Rockstar, but like completely full like this right over here. And then at right as I was like coming over here to sit down to to start the pod, I freaking spilled a whole cup of rockstar just went everywhere on the floor and at first i was telling him i was like i was like just ignore it dude i was like let's just start the pod and he's like what? he's like bro no he's like you gotta clean that up dude he's like you have a whole cup of rockstar on the floor i was like all right dude fuck it then we had to clean it up really quick he helped me clean it too oh my god <laughs> of course <laughs> Bro, it was. I was just like, oh my god. Look, like, just ignore it. I told him I was like, bro, because like, I already felt like like bad that I was. You know, it took like maybe uh, like ten minutes to set up. That I was like, dude, let's just get the pod started already. He's like, no, nah, no. Nah. He's like, don't worry, I'll help you clean it up. <laughs> and then we cleaned that shit up. Oh my god, <laughs> that shit took like ten minutes, and then we started the pod. But it was it was it was a really good pod uh, podcast, regardless. <laughs> yeah, it sounded like you guys were having fun. <laughs> You guys were hella laughing. Um, what else? What else uh, that I want to bring up? Oh, also, yo, guys, huge, huge news! Huge oh, this, news! Yes. Um, this is kind of goes in with the one other thing I want to talk about. We'll, we'll, I'll get into more detail about this uh, later. But I was trying to do a stream the other night that Blazzy and I've been planning for a while now. Where Blaz, I told Blazzy, I was like, "Yo, um, when, when can you help me work on the new shirt design that I've been, you know, wanting to draw for a minute now?" Dude, wait, hold on. I, I gotta get Beans yeah. out of here. Yo, Beans, come here. It's hallway. not the time. Hallway. He's trying to play with his toy right now. Beans, hallway. Play it as us. Sorry, guys. Play it as us like a fiddle. Really? <laughs> this is what I get for trying to leave the door open so he can... He was cool last time, but this me. time, no. Yeah, he starts bringing his toy over, but anyways. Uh, yeah. I, um, I had this stream planned to go meet up with Blazzy and do this stream uh, where, you know, we work on the shirt design and stuff. Um, dub, number one, bro, W Blazzy for doing that. Like I said, I'll get more into it later. That day, we were supposed to stream on YouTube. And um, Riley was, like, busy that day. And usually Riley helps me go live from home. But this time, Riley wasn't available. So I was like, all right, I'm going to press go live from home uh, on, the on like, the live view and then uh, on YouTube. But then once I get to Blazzy's, I'm going to go live on, like, this last third program that will like complete the connection so um, people can see what the hell's going on, right? <clears throat> but uh, in the in the meantime, uh, the chat was gonna see like just literally like a blank screen. You know what I mean? Like and uh, the live view uh, box or whatever it is, it has its own default like back screen. You know what I mean? It's not like a video that is on YouTube or you download from somewhere. It's literally it's like live view's own back screen. You know what I mean? That comes with the with the program or whatever. Mm. Um, so that what was sh that's what was showing the whole time and there was no audio or video playing. And uh, while I was heading to Blazzy's uh, place, I get a fucking uh, a message alert on my phone, and it says, uh, uh, "You got a copyright strike. Your, your your streaming has been taken away for I don't know. I think it's like a week or some shit like that." And I was like, "Bro, what?" I was like, "For what?" I was like, "What the hell?" I was like, "No way!" And then there's like an appeal button, so I was like, "Okay, let me press appeal." And usually appeal, they take like maybe 24, 48 hours to reply. I pressed appeal, chilled for like a minute or two, and then get a message, and they replied to me within a minute or two. And I was like, "What is this?" appeal rejected and i was like what i was like bro i got copyright strike uh got a copyright strike for nothing no audio no video uh, the, the video cannot be copyright strike they no one owns that shit live you owns that shit live is not gonna fucking copyright yeah. copyright that because all all of their users use that shit so i was just like bro what the fuck is going on here i was like super super stressing out the next morning um i woke up and i was just like you know go to my computer like normal open up google and then i see kick responded to me about the kick creator incentive program and i emailed them guys like a month and a half ago and i emailed them once and then they took like two and a half weeks to reply and then i replied to their reply and then they took another like three weeks to reply but then finally on their on their last reply after like a month and a half and shit they were like oh yo uh we are, we're accepting you into our uh, kcip program and i couldn't believe it hold on i'm gonna close the window i know our, there's having a party i know our neighbors are what song is that 
We know this song. I can't hear it. I couldn't hear it. I think it's Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, though. Thank you, babe. I, when you sent me that message, too, because I, I said this on the live when you did your stream to celebrate, but when I saw your face when YouTube hit you up again, because it's a constant thing that just, like, keeps happening, you know? Yeah. And it's so, like, demotivating, like we were saying. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you texted me the next day saying that I was just like, oh, I'm so happy. Like, I know it happened so fast, you know, like, if, yeah, literally the next night, like I, I was just like bummed about this YouTube shit. Then the next day, I'll, like a uh, kid hit me up about that. And I was just like, bro, that's really cool because, yeah, YouTube, um, they make it seem just like I'm some criminal, bro. Like who's just trying to do shit on the platform or guess what there's so many. I've already gone through this. There's so many other channels that do much, much crazier stuff, more drinking oriented stuff you know like uh cold bro i can't like i've already gone through this so many times like i am not like some random dude who's like doing this unique thing that gets me in trouble it's like the things that get that gets me in trouble i guess is this copyright bullshit that i never violate every single time it's like i'm not even violating shit it's like they're just hitting me with it for no reason i don't know why and uh i was talking about this with mr tht as well because uh uh, before we even started the pod we were talking about a bunch of youtube stuff mm -hmm. and um i was telling him my issues and he was just like He's like, that's so weird. He's like, Eric Khan's on stream all the time, and he listens to Future, Drake, you know, all these uh, different, like, big artists, and he has no issues. I'm like, and I thought about it, and I have tuned into Eric Khan's streams where, yeah, he's literally on stream listening to popular music, rolling up, having a good time, and he has, like, a million subscribers and no issues with him. I'm like, why is it me? You know what I mean? Like, it's so, like, I literally would need a YouTube rep to, like, go into the algorithm and tell them to stop hating me or something like that like i think i'm permanently you yeah know. i don't know what it is about you because exactly so many people do crazier things i wonder if it's because i'm russian <laughs> i'm serious i don't think because so. of this america russia beef and i have in my like in all like a lot of my information i say like you know russian streamer russian immigrant what if they're like let's get this russian out to paint anyways yo guys w kick for adding us to the KCIP program. W. I appreciate them so much, man. Let's go. Cheers, guys. Yay. Big things coming. So, I want to uh, continue talking about the... Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm, like, out of breath. I'm, like, talking so fast. But uh, um, I want to continue talking about the KCIP thing in a second because I have, like, an idea... I was telling Riley about, but also that day that I found out about the KCIP, I was like, dude, I'm getting hammered tonight. I was just like, I, I immediately unlocked Toke inside, like my inner Toke. I was just like, bro, that's it. I was like, today I'm celebrating. I'm going to go crazy. I kind of messed up though, because that <laughs> the day I got the KCIP thing, all I ate that day was a cup of noodles and then those onion rings with fucking Jojo Sal later. So... I kind of was like celebrating the whole day drinking a bunch when I did not eat much and ask mm -hmm. Riley like later that night I was feeling sick. I was like laying down. Luckily I didn't throw up or anything like that, but I was just laying down just like, bro, like what? Sick as fuck. Why did I drink so much? Like uh, and I was mm. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. And I was literally thinking like I wish I could eat something cuz I'm hungry, but then also you, I feel so drunk that I don't want to eat anything. I was just like in, in hell at, at the end of the night I was just like bro I shouldn't have done this to myself this is a terrible idea at that idea. point it's like just throw it up <laughs> just throw it up I just went to sleep and I woke up fine I but... can't believe you just knocked out yeah I can't believe I would it have either definitely yak <laughs> all day probably the next day yeah that's a 24 hour hangover I just remember like laying down complaining to Riley and then waking up in the morning just like, oh my god, what did I do yesterday? I shouldn't, I shouldn't have drank so much. But like, bro, like that's that's something you gotta celebrate. You know what I mean? You gotta yeah, celebrate you the, the go little crazy. things in life, and that doesn't mean you have to get drunk. Like, but that was just my way. I chose to celebrate, I guess. But um, <laughs> not only that, that night we were celebrating, guys. We hit a milestone that I never thought we would ever fucking hit ever because it's that it's just insanity. Schluggins, I always say Schluggins, but I don't, it's as it's. Sl I, cause I I, re I posted the name and it's S L Huggins. Oh. I mixed in. W I thought it was Schluggins. No, I, it looked the H and the L are like mixed. I posted on IG, so like it's kind of like all all you can see it right there the way yeah. it's spelled. But I think it's like S L Huggins. I think oh. we've gone through this conversation before. But regardless, 
SL Huggins or Sluggins <laughs> donated a thousand dollars during that night. And I was just like, I didn't know what to like it. I, I just started screaming at random people. I was like, I, someone donated a thousand dollars. I just started screaming it to every single person that walked by. Cause I, it's like, you don't even know how to react. You know what I mean? Like number one, it feels like a, a crazy level of gratitude and appreciation. And then immediately following that is just like some sort of like, almost like kind of like a guilt or like, what can I do to, to make you feel like this was worth it right now? Cause you're so appreciative. You know what I mean? Like if you sell someone, uh, something for a thousand dollars you give them an item and then they give you the money right then you're like f fair exchange so when when you just get a thousand dollar donation like that i'm like if i could backflip i would do a backflip right now it's like what can i do to be you like did <laughs> you screamed at everybody you Bro. were so hyped and you kept saying thank you and expressing your gratitude Bro, and you, you're gonna keep doing it no facts because it's a. Uh... you still have like 47 more shots <laughs> yeah for sure w sluggins dude that that's insanity and i'm not sure if you guys remember but during the end of the 30 day stream like right as we ended the stream we're like all right yo guys peace to everyone like she donated 300 dollars at the end of the 30 day stream you remember stuff like this because that's insane and then uh, i was doing a downtown uh, la stream uh, downtown irl stream with the with toke maybe like a couple months ago she donated 400 dollars like Bro, crazy, I appreciate her so much for uh, for all the support. Really, thank you, thank you so much, Sluggins. And like, um, like I said, it's, it's really like, you feel like, bro, what can I do to make you feel like this is worth it? You know what I mean? Like, I got you on on, on the the new shirt drops, Sluggins. Just mess message me somehow, yes. and we got you on the new new shirt drops, uh, lighter sleeves, stickers. Um, I don't know. I, I'll give you some beans hair if you want. <laughs> Imagine we did that. We sold like our cat's hairs. Ew. But not from the sometimes floor. They have it, to be freshly plucked. It comes on shirts sometimes. Oh yeah, I know. I've actually we uh we've had like two customers message, and I ever since then I I have a lint roller, and we lint roll all. You guys saw on stream we lint roll all the shirts we package. But I have had like two customers tell me like, yo, my shirt came with the some beans hair, or some fluffy hair. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, my bad. They're That's like, oh. a love from them. Every, but both of the, the, the people, I was like, yo, I'm so sorry, my bad. And they're like, no, it's fine. I, I fuck with it. <laughs> and I'm just like, okay, sick. It shows it's genuine. It's not being packaged in some random warehouse by <laughs> someone we don't know. You know what I mean? It's just like, it, <laughs> we're packaging it right here <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the stream room where everything else happens. But, <sighs> yo, W, um, kick, W, uh, Schluggins. I, I, I appreciate them so much. <laughs> w, Harmonious Gang. And also, guys, number one, yeah, like, dude, W, Harmonious Gang, guys. Like, the the fact that kick, uh, in, you know, uh, accepted us into that program is, like, 100% based off the Harmonious Gang, guys. Like, I've said oh, this yeah. before, you know what I mean? But, like, it's just, if it's just me, um, if it's just, like, me, it's like, bro, no, no, I'm just one dude. You know what I mean? It's like the fact that we have this community together. Th that's the, the only reason why that, you know, even happened. And like other things uh, happened as well Is it's thanks to you guys, bro. So shout out to the Harmonious Gang. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for all the support because without you guys, all this stuff would not be possible. 100%. Thanks. Um, but also I was, I was telling the kick uh, chat last night and I was telling Riley as well is that now they're on the KCIP program. Yeah, they, they have rules. You know what I mean? Like, you can't do sleep streams. They're not going to pay you to sleep on stream. Um, it's literally just you can't do sleep streams. And then you can't, uh, like, I can't take a Mr. Beast video and then, sh and then like, literally just show a Mr. Beast video with no reactions, no nothing. Like, I'm literally just restreaming a Mr. Beast video. Mm. I That's also, you know, illegal, obviously. You can't just steal content. So the rules are no stealing content, no sleeping on stream. But... Um, other than that, it's like everything else applies. And I was telling Riley, I was like, dude, I think right now uh, would be the perfect time um, to start a subathon with another 30-day cap, potentially. But this time, uh, I, last time we also stayed inside the country. But this time, like, um, yeah, I, I was thinking, like, we stay inside the country, but, like, we just open our minds to going to different states. Yeah. Damn. San Diego. That's not a different state, but California. I know, <laughs> I know, I know, but I'm saying that, that we've stopped one, yeah. San Diego. Um, I know Mexico is a different country, but it's still like, it's my live view works there, you know, under my same plan. So we can go to Mexico. Um, people always tell me to go to uh, Phoenix or to Arizona. So Arizona. it's going to be a hot as fuck. My live view is going to blow <laughs> it's up. Gonna be so it's going to be so hot. It's going to fucking explode. 
Uh, but I'm still down. I don't know, like a bunch of different places, like anywhere we could drive to, really. You know what I mean? Like just rent a car or get a car or something like that and then uh and then just uh start this thing and then just have have goal points where like i was telling the chat if we hit day two or day three then then we go here then we if we hit day three while that location then we continue going to this location then like we could just continue the track based on what you know uh how far we go you know what i mean so and also like we could probably even set it up where people can see like a map that tells you like um what locations uh what locations like uh, we have planned out, and like what days would you know would be required to hit that hit that hit that location or whatever. So I feel like that would be interesting. Yeah, I agree. It'd be like a whole planned out thing, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I was thinking about potentially starting it on April first. And when I brought it up, the chat's like, "Oh, Yuri thinks he's funny. He's promising a thirty day stream on April first. And I'm like, "No, it's not an April Fool's joke. I'm not trying to fucking <laughs> mess around. I'm being serious." So it's done right before your birthday. Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. If we did Your start... Your birthday's coming up. I feel so... Don't strange. remind me. I don't want anything. Shut up. I don't want anything, and I don't want even anyone to... I, In fact, I would want to stop talking about it now so that people forget about it by my birthday so it's just another day. So then, like, it becomes... You know, one like one random Thursday, people are like, oh, yo, it was This Yuri's, is a big it was, one. It was Yuri's birthday four days ago. I'll be like, oh, yeah, fuck it, dude. Cool. And then we just forget it. No, it's not. No, it's a big one. This is one you could forget. Fuck no. (laughs) This is huge. (laughs) It's one you can glaze over. No. Stop it. It's a glazer. It's a glazer. (laughs) Pause. 26 is a glazer. Oh, my God. No, it's not. I remember when I... what. Those two year, those two ages in which I turned, in which I had like uh, either homies or even like a random person tell me like, "Oh, you're turning this year? That's the worst year of your life." <laughs> like I, what? I got that for seventeen, I think. I remember when I turned seventeen, someone told me like, "Oh, you just turned 17? 17. Seventeen. They're is like, late. they're like, good luck, Yuri. Seventeen's a tough one, or some shit like that. And then uh, I think it was like twenty two or twenty three. One of those was when I turned twenty two or twenty three. Someone told me like. They're like, no one gives a shit about a 22, 23 year old. They're like, you're too stupid to get a good job. And you're, you know, you're too old to be young. They're like, you kind of fucked in this, in this like middle spot. They're like, good luck. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it. But I don't believe in that shit. I just ignored it. But I've, I've had that for like, people told me about like two, two separate years. Yeah. 19 kind of random. Cause yeah. Cause like 20 is exciting. Cause you're going to be 20. 18 is exciting. Cause you're an adult. Yeah. 19. Just in the middle. Floater. You're still a teen, too. Yeah. I'm still a awkward. teenager. <laughs> Imagine flexing you're a teenager at 19. <laughs> I'm still a teen. Who's doing that? Yeah, nobody. <laughs> Anyways. um, But, yo, guys, to get back to that conversation about that 10 Talks T design, bro, chat. For anyone that watched the the stream, it's still up on Kick. You guys can go check out the design. Riley still hasn't even seen it, actually. Let's get Riley's opinion on it right now. Riley saw the chicken scratch. Remember the chicken scratch? Like the, the rough draft thing? I saw the original photo that was taken. But no, remember the rough draft? Yeah. The rough draft of like just where it says Tito's right yeah, here, this yeah, right yeah. here, blah, blah. It was literally just a bunch of random squares and stuff that, that said Tito's, shot glass, um, you know, dollars, uh live view or whatever it is it was just like very 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 chicken scratchy and i remember even at that one we showed it to Ryder and don't look and Ryder was just like yo he's like this is perfect he's like it doesn't need any adjustments he's like it's already good and uh um even at that time like i was kind of thinking like fuck like i, I want to see what people were going to think about this and also i want to see what the final product's going to be like but bro blazy spent i think like five hours straight editing this design bro and like i like i can't just like I can't thank Schlugans enough for that thousand dollar dono, like I can't thank Blazzy enough for spending five hours of his time at nighttime editing this design, bro. Because uh, he charges a lot of money for designs, and the fact that he did this, bro, I really fucking appreciate him. Um, and also, it came out dope, dude. So let's get Riley's reaction to the new Ten Talks T design. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> nice. Rate, rate, how napkin weed is made rate, rate that reaction chat and oh yeah look, 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 look at the details look at the uh people in the chat y'all are stupid <laughs> oh 
The fucking antique Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. The age of an item thing. That's fire, babe. And then look at this. He threw it on a... For reference. He threw it on a shirt. And then also he threw it on a, a rolling tray. Yeah, the rolling tray is And Blasi said, he's like, bro, he's like, you should make this in, into a rolling tray too. So honestly, I think we might make this into a rolling tray as well, guys. But this will be... Um, this will be the new... Uh, the new... Um, t-shirt design there is one thing I, I see we need to fix immediately the description <laughs> what? Does, why does the description say critters for life spliff mode can suck dot 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 <laughs> i didn't tell blasi to add that that's funny I saw that. and then uh, uh this one says watch me blow balloons for four hours so i think we got to get rid of that one right and then look at this fake views stream three weeks ago <laughs> Critters for life spliff mode can suck dot 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 for and more. <laughs> I, I don't know if Blasi did that. <laughs> what the or, fuck was are that, you guys talking about? Was that my description? That was probably your description. Did you see this one? Modern Marvels, how yeah. napkin weed is made. Orange tasting. We eat every orange there is. Oh yeah, I want to adjust that one as well. Um but bro, this is I'm so excited for this one, man. The the uh like the middle um of the shirt itself with all the like the picture you know, the pictures of stuff bro this part is so fire on the russian table the the donation the seven 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 bro oh yeah uh guess who else i added in the chat josh Coates, w stream what did you have for dinner today because he always <laughs> he sense? always w josh Coates, man he's been joining the streams for years now and he always says hey I uh, hope you're having a good day. What did you have for dinner? He always asks, what did I have for dinner? So W. Josh Coates, I had to add him on the shirt as well of him saying, <laughs> what did you have for dinner? <laughs> That's a cute little Easter egg. You'd have to like really be in the chat to like understand that, you know, that reference right there. But yo, I'm super excited for the shirt to drop. Um, for one, it's uh, going to drop, guys, um, probably a month a month or two or something like that. I want to drop the shirts and the lighter sleeves probably around the same time. So I'm just going to wait for both of them to be ready. You know what I mean? And, and that, in that time I can get the packaging ready. I can get everything else ready. And then uh, we'll, we'll drop the shirts and shit like that. So um, I'm excited. And also, you know what, uh, you know what else? I think the same day we drop those shirts, I think I'll open up a 48 hour order on the last harmonious tee. So people can place, place their last orders if they, if they wanted one of those tees and then that'll be the last of those teas we sell mm -hmm. i feel like that'll be sick yeah i'm excited for you too i like the, the rolling tray a lot i'm like i'm so curious to see how it's gonna look on a shirt like printed out i know but uh um fuck i wish i could remember the name of the instagram but this dude on instagram he like he is a shirt maker and i guess he makes shirts for really big brands and he sent me a whole bunch of videos like like seven different videos on the shirt making process on like how you do different different things and he was explaining like i don't know like the pros and cons and benefits and all that stuff and i was like bro thank you so much but he explained mm -hmm. it very well you can get really good detail yeah, yeah like from uh, no yeah at least the process sure. he was doing i was like oh no you can get really, i'm excited really good to detail. see it on a shirt for screen printing it'll be a little bit you know insane i feel like it'll be kind of crazy but like uh I forgot the name of the process he was oh, talking yeah, about. Oh, yeah, screen printing. Yeah, I don't know. Because it's like hella, hella crazy colors. Um, but also, guys, enough about me. Guys, today is officially r day 79 of Riley's 70, uh, 75 soft challenge. And also, <laughs> I think today was day 75 of uh, Man Gate. It is. Congratulations. Yeah. And also Jazzy as well. Yeah. Or, uh, oh no, Jazzy didn't do it again. Oh, okay, no, okay. No. Congratulations, Manic Gabe, for Woo! doing seventy-five hard, bro. This fool's running around a lake every morning. Doing two workouts a day. Yeah, he's doing two hard workouts a day. Strict, strict no, diet. No, no, yeah, strict diet. No, no fast food. No sodas. No alcohol. Um, and like uh, also, yeah, like we were saying, the the crazy workouts, bro. He did seventy-five days in a row every day of that shit, and he just completed it today. Congratulations, Manic Gabe. And Riley's on day seventy-nine of her. 75 soft yeah <laughs> so why, why are we on 79 of 75 70 because we did the dry january so i started the challenge like where like i was because i didn't work out like the first four 
days of the new year Mm -hmm. so i was like okay i'm starting the actual challenge where i'm like working out every day and doing all the other stuff so on the fourth i started on the fourth instead of doing like two hard work because he was going crazy he was literally running like miles a day every day like doing some goku workouts type shit but um riley uh was doing like one workout every day was super limited with her uh diet like I felt kind of bad. You know, people thought I felt bad about, you know, taking shots in front of Riley. You know what feels even worse is going to the Jack in the Box drive through and ordering two tacos and a chicken sandwich. My go-to. <laughs> I look at Riley and My she's kid. just like, fuck, I wish I could have a chicken sandwich and a taco too. And I'm just like, sorry. And I'm just like eating it. <laughs> but no. But I definitely was not as strict as Man in Game. Yeah, yeah. And like people keep asking like, would you do it again? Would you do it again? No, I don't think I would do it again, but I definitely want to like continue the mm-hmm. lifestyle stuff and I want to like make my diet actually better. Yeah. Because it's like I definitely noticed a difference in stuff, but I was like, damn, if I would have went harder with my diet and been a little more restrictive, I would be excited to see like more results like that. Like I like testing mm-hmm. things like, you know? Yeah. But I definitely have felt and seen a difference and I think Honestly, it's helped my energy on 10 talks a lot because yeah. I think when I was drinking a lot It was making me so tired and I was like you'd be yawning more. I did not want to be on mm-hmm. Like I was just tired because we'd be drinking throughout the day. So it's like yeah, that's true And then I'm just like not all the way there, you know, I'm that's like, probably why I was like so sleepy dude It's because like the past three days. I've been like celebrating type shit. So it's just been back to back to back, but um, How do you feel though? Are you excited to finish it? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. It's, I can't believe it's over. It's felt like so long. Riley, it felt like it was never going to end. Should we talk about uh, the thing you already broke today earlier? Oh, yeah. I had my first bad meal. I had a Jack in the Box chicken sandwich. Bro, chat. The other <laughs> the other day, like four days ago, I went to Jack in the Box and I, and I wanted the... It's like it's like on the the value menu, like the just a chicken sandwich, because that one's super good. Like Riley and I really like that chicken sandwich. It's like our go-to, and I just wanted that chicken sandwich, just like randomly to go right. And then uh, at, uh, I'm like waiting in the drive-through, and then they give me, um, I guess I asked for the spicy chicken, and it's like a whole different sandwich, like a bigger, like more deluxe sandwich. They gave that to me, and I was like, all right, whatever. Like I don't want to. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, thank you. Do this whole thing, like you know, uh, just for the sandwich. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna take it home and eat, uh, and eat it. That shit was so good bro it was so fire and then today i, I told riley before we're 10 talks i was like i kind of want another one uh, bless you thank you i was like i kind of want another one and riley was just like you know she was supposed to do 75 days she's doing 80 so she was like you know what i already did 75 before 80 she's like i'm gonna eat this chicken sandwich too bless you i don't know what's going on dude it's like my allergies are acting up uh, can you open the window because i keep sneezing yeah thanks no just it's smoky in here (laughs) yeah but anyways yeah so uh how else do you feel like are you like like other than chicken sandwich what else are you excited to get back into soda the chicken sandwich was so good but it honestly it started to hurt my stomach because i don't think i'm I'm not used to eating it and yeah but i don't know i don't know Chicken sandwich is like probably like my favorite like just like fried chicken in general like yeah. chicken strips chicken sandwich What about and I had it drinking are you like excited to get back into drinking? <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> I just yeah, I just want to maintain Keeping it strict with my drinking too, yeah. which I am going to well, uh, yeah I'm not sure if I said but like that's the thing with those 75 day challenges like it just helps you build a good um, discipline not like discipline but like good um what you call the be like behaviors or routines you mean like where it says like uh, it takes 30 days to set in like a, a, habit. a habit there you go like the 75 day thing like helps you build good habits you know what I mean for sure well yeah no I think I was definitely just turning to drinking whenever I was stressed Mm-hmm. Whenever I wanted to celebrate, mm-hmm. it was like it, at first it was like whenever I wanted to celebrate. Then yeah. it turned it in. Oh, I had a stressful day. I'm gonna have a drink. Yeah. I had yeah, like I had a long day at work. I'm gonna have a drink, and it's like, get, then it turns to like every single day you're drinking. Uh, yeah, exactly. I can get emotional. <laughs> oh my god. And it's just like yeah, no, I just needed better. <laughs> I was like scared for myself, oh. you know. Yeah. I was like, this is not what I want. 
I felt gross. But like this whole uh, 79 days, it's like not one day off stream have I seen Riley go like, oh, I would really like a drink right now. It's like you haven't even mentioned it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You haven't even brought it up. No. What, what about like a... a you know, I just have bad stomach problems with it too. So it's like it kind of yeah. scares me to like drink again. I'm like, oh, I don't even want to get sick. Some people would like, you know, uh, we were doing the stream talking about this a little bit last time. Some people in the chat were saying like, well, why not just continue not drinking? Because it's like, <laughs> I know myself where it's like, now that I've done it and I've ha like had this discipline, because I, I have had really it, tough issues with follow through. Yeah. Like, I always say I'm going to do something and I don't ever like fucking follow through. Mm -hmm. But this I really did. And mm -hmm. now I can like, I don't know. I just feel like I have more control on my mind. Yeah. And like more, I guess more self control is what I feel I'm trying like, to say. I feel like the soda was harder for you too, because there was hella times where I would be drinking soda too, bro. I probably made this so much harder for you, babe. But there was hella times I'd be drinking soda too. Oh my too, god! And Riley'd be like, "I want a sip of that Pepsi so we bad." We got a fucking like 40, 70 pack of Pepsi <laughs> from Costco, and I'm just like, look, it's like looks so good, like perfectly lined up in our fridge. And yeah. I'm like, it's so cold, <laughs> but I can't drink it. And you see, that's but, it, that's a good, that's it, like a really good. You know, like a mental uh, uh, behavior you have. Like, we could just like tell yourself, like, nah, I told myself no. So yeah, no. see, so, so I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'm, that's why I wanted to do that too, so I could learn better self control because I was not good with that. Yeah. <laughs> not good with that at all. I'm very indulgent. <laughs> but yeah, with the, with the drinking for the celebrating thing, it's like, um, uh, I forgot what podcast Wiz Khalifa went on, but like he was talking about that too, where he was just saying that for him, he's like a huge pop and celebrity with all these celebrity friends and all his celebrity friends have clothing brands and restaurants and, and, uh, music careers. And you know, like all his friends, basically, every, he basically said that like, dude, like every day I have a homie hitting me up saying, dude, I just, I just got a kick deal. I just did this. I just like, and then they're like, let's go to the bar. You know, let's go gra grab a drink. And he's like, bro, like, e like you could literally find an excuse every day to drink with the celebration thing. And then he yeah. basically said he had to like completely cut it out. Cause exactly. he's like, he's like, I'm celebrating every day. You know what I mean? He's like, look who I am. You know what I mean? It's like, so like that becomes like qu quickly out of hand, you know? I think I kind of do want to live my life. Like, with where is like mostly sober, <laughs> mostly like not drinking. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's not worth it. Well, Cause I, I just I when I get too like too lit. Mm. Sometimes it's not just it can't just be one drink for me, you know. Like yeah, I keep going, and then once you're too lit, you can't even taste the liquor anymore, and you just keep getting drunker and drunker, and then you are stupid. Yeah, exactly. And I hate being like that. I hate well, embarrassing myself like well, that. That's the thing with like uh, it. I feel like that issue is just literally with like hard liquor, and that's why you have to like remind yourself like not to take too many drinks like back to back to back you know what i mean i was having that issue during the the kick celebration stream where uh um people kept donating gifted subs you know what i mean like and when someone donates five gifted subs i'm like let's take a shot and then two minutes later someone else donates five gifted subs i'm like let's take a shot and then i'm not thinking to myself like oh wait i'm literally taking a shot every five minutes right now yeah. like that's you, how long can you do that for like 10 20 minutes <laughs> like what the fuck before you're gonna get way too fucked up so no yeah you just have to like i don't know learn your limit and shit you know what i mean but also like i don't know but like there's like a lot of people in the chat you know what i mean they'll probably listen to this conversation sometimes uh i comment saying like oh why not you know just cut it out completely or whatever it is but um i feel like like with anything in life there's like always like negative aspects behind it i was talking about with mr thc on the podcast as well about like the negative side of being a like a stoner and like smoking too much where he was like talking about how um back in the day it was like uh, affecting his li life negatively where he basically said that he was eating unhealthy foods getting high all day not working out and r you know rinse and repeat every day and then he's like now he like hits the gym every single day and like has a routine and and he like he says like sometimes he'll go like three four days without even smoking because mm -hmm. he's just like too busy. And then he'd be like, be like, oh shit, it's been three days since I've smoked the blunt. Let me spark up a blunt. I'm like, that's crazy. That's Mr. THC, the like the weed guy. But he said that like he had to take control of his like uh, weed intake because he said that like at one point it was getting out of control for him where he was like, yeah, he was like I wasn't doing anything productive or healthy for myself. I was literally just smoking weed, eating deli delicious unhealthy food, and then you know not working out or doing anything. You know you know. And he like. Uh, 
he used to like he has like a way better uh, uh, relationship with it now someone could See? tell him yeah. why not just cut it out completely he's like oh no it's like I'd rather just learn my exactly learn my you know uh, what you call like my limits and what I want or like what fits me and then I live my life like that we're, we're also uh, talking about how like people's limits were different and I was I brought you up where uh, we we're because we we're talking about weed and when Riley and I first met um, I've always been a huge huge stoner but when Riley and I first met uh, and she was living in the bay and we'd be like on FaceTime every day I would FaceTime Riley in the morning or she would FaceTime you know we'd be FaceTiming each other like we, we would uh, FaceTime in the morning she'd be like oh I'm smoking spl- uh, you know and I'll smoke a, a joint and then after work she'd be like oh you know I'm smoking a joint then later that night oh I'm smoking a joint and then the next morning I'm like seeing that same I'm like is that the same <laughs> joint and she's like yeah she's like one joint will last me like three four days I'm like what like what the fuck and I brought that up I was like yeah and he was talking about how different people you have to learn your relationship with weed whether you even want it or not but also how much you even need to smoke he's yeah. like some people can be blowing backwoods and joints all day and no problem but he's like some people can they literally all they need is one puff and they're fine you know what I mean I'm like bro that's Riley I'm like that's how she was when I met her that's how I was for sure <laughs> Damn! I can't <laughs> believe that was me. Oh Straight man, up. am I a uh, negative influence? No, I was like, I was the stoner friend though. Like, I was all my girlfriends knew that if yeah. I was coming through, I was gonna have the weed. You know? Yeah, I was so, always the stoner friend too. <laughs> <laughs> I was always the one that smoked more, the most, out of all my friends. Yeah. And you barely even smoke. But anything. when we were all together, it was like different. That's a like when I'm by myself, it's like that's to me. Like I could, I don't need that much. But when it's like you're all together, it's like going all day. You know. Yeah, yeah, I feel but, that. Yeah, <laughs> I was always the one that was like mostly down to smoke. <laughs> smoke again. Um, shit. Sorry, yo guys. I um, I have this super random topic here. I don't know how we approach this. It's just what? random news here. Um, but. I'm not even sure if we should show <laughs> on screen. So I'm not random. even show on screen, but let's just talk about this. Uh, a lot of people have been posting about it. Bruno, my king. Bruno, your king. <laughs> not like that. Wow. Okay, really? I'm gonna find my queen then. Bruno Mars apparently owes 50 million in gambling debt. Short king. <laughs> okay. Uh, and hold on. I think it was the MGM. Like he owes. He owes. Yeah, to the MGM. He owes 50 million to the MGM which he performs at and i like i saw some posts saying that like he performs there and he makes like around, around a million a night so if he owes them 50 million in gambling debt he'd have to <laughs> perform 50 times so that's not the only thing he's making money on yeah i know yeah exactly for sure but yeah when i saw this post like a uh, other like a bunch of instagram uh, accounts have been posting this the comment sections always say like doesn't this guy make like 150 well, million a year like you know the fact that no he has like some of the biggest songs ever you know which he's still making residual yeah p- wedding songs people oh. get married to and shit you know oh yeah you're right and that's why it's so surprising when you pulled that up i was like no way like what that's not like that's not like a good look for like if he's signed how much is he like gambling that's cr- he must be going crazy bro when you have money like that it's it's kind of like i don't know man and then also like I, i've never I, I can't understand a gambling addiction because i've never been into gambling you know what i mean like i've always uh like i've just never really got into it like so i've i can't even understand a gambling addiction but i can't understand like uh losing so much money that you're like i need i can't just give my money up like i need to at least make half back mm-hmm. and then you give more and then you're like let me make half of that back and then you give more and then you're like fuck like I've lost too much. I need to, uh, you know, uh, at least, like, break even at this point. Uh, bro, the next thing you know, you're, like, locked in forever. But if he's, like, uh, my, oh, what I was going to say, if he's, like, signed, I guess, to MGM or performing there as, like, a, one of those signed artists, this is going to make them look bad. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, come perform at our, uh, we're going to pay you uh, money to, you know, perform, like, a, as, like, a with, like a stay-in artist for, like, a year. But then you would develop a fucking gambling addiction. You know what I mean? Like, and then, oh, you end up owing us money by the time you get out of here. <laughs> yeah, which is, like, you better work. Yeah, ex- bro. That's insane, dude. He's gonna have to perform his little booty off. Bro, $50 million in debt? But then also, can it, like, how far can a casino chase you? You know what I mean? Like, for that money. That's it's what I'm saying. He might be just performing for free now. That's what people are saying. He might literally just be performing for free. So. His performances are gonna be ass. 
<laughs> Imagine one day you're performing and you know you're pocketing a million dollars and then literally the next weekend you're performing <laughs> and you know you're going to make zero dollars and you still owe 49 million more. I don't know, babe. <laughs> I don't know, babe. I, the only song I would like I to see... I couldn't imagine him... having that much money in general. Bro, like, I've thought about Salute. that before. Like, you know, when... Uh, um, do you see, like, I, I forgot, uh, I don't know what his name is, but, like, there's, like, some football dude who just got signed to a four-year contract for $180 million or something like that for four years. For the next four years, he's going to get paid $180 million mm -hmm. for playing football. And I was kind of thinking, like, if I just got $180 million dropped on my lap, what would I want? You know what I mean? Like, I already have the best graphics card money, <laughs> <laughs> money can buy right now. <laughs> So it's like I can't upgrade my computer really. I could upgrade it a little bit more, you know what I mean? Like get more uh, memory space, probably maybe a better CPU. But I'm not even utilizing the CPU like that. So it's like I would really <laughs> just want to upgrade my computer. I would give, I want to get a better the best computer. Best ever. computer. Like I'll probably get a better monitor. Like that. That's what I always think about. I'm like, bro. Like if you had that much money, I would just get the bossest desktop setup. setup ever, bro. Like that's that's where my money would go. Set up wars, but I'm already pretty happy with uh, yeah set up wars. <laughs> yeah, I, I would want to win set up wars. That'll be my goal, dude. I'm spending a whole the whole hundred fifty million <laughs> to to fucking win set up wars. Um, but other than that, other than that's like yeah, I don't know, man. Like uh, I I also like I wouldn't want like a super expensive car. Like I would kind of want like um like some durable vehicle that I can like drive over rocks with or something like that. I don't want some a like Bronco. Some, a Bronco, mm -hmm. yeah, like I don't know, like so, yeah, because like something that can drive on sand. Yeah, like, I want. That. <laughs> even too. though there's, there's really like no, we don't really be driving on <laughs> sand out here, but I just want something that's like durable. You know what I mean? Like in the snow. Exactly, snow shit, sand stuff. Like I don't know, like an old terrain vehicle that would be mm -hmm. cool. A Hummer. No, that's that's insane. <laughs> they don't even make them anymore. No, they have the. I think they make the electric ones now. The Hummer H3. But you don't want electric. No, I definitely do not. I don't want electric. Would you? No. <laughs> no. I why? think that's bad now. Thank you, I, guys. I, I haven't. I've really never really wanted an electric car like that though. Why? Because I had experience with one. My uncle's car. When my car was bro broken down, uh -huh. my old car, he had like a Fiat that was electric, and that shit took forever to charge. <laughs> and I was like stressed the fuck out, like whenever like I was driving it because it was like the battery was about to run out. And it's not a thing where you could just juice it up. Real no, quick. and I was like trying to find a charging station, and I, it was like still like kind of newer. Uh huh. So it was like hard as fuck to find the charging stations, <laughs> and I was just like, bro, like I can't do this. I, I was freaking out. It was not worth it. <laughs> That's funny as hell. <laughs> it would take hours and hours to charge it. Like. No, yeah, they're. I don't think they're worth it either. I think like it's like I'm, like if you're getting like a cyber truck right now, like I think it's worth it for like a content creator. You know what I mean? Like we saw. The Danny Duncan video where he got it, like that that's just worth it for the for the vlog title. Like, oh, getting a cyber truck and yeah. putting bullhorns on it. It's definitely his his style. I know exactly. Not surprised. <laughs> you remember remember I told you, babe, a long time ago. He almost ran into our car. He, no, he was he was like fucking with me. Like I like I talked about like I made a clip about this, but yeah, a long ass time ago I was like uh Riley wasn't there, but I was like using Riley's car, running some errands in like uh, in West Hollywood. I forgot what I was doing, but I was just driving around and I was coming to this, like, it's a small, I was in a small area too, like, small streets and shit. I was coming to a four-way intersection with stop signs on, on each, on each, uh, you know, corner. I get to the stop sign, and I'm trying to, you know, do a U-turn, which is completely legal, by the way. So I was trying to do a U-turn. Um, his car wasn't there yet, and I'm, like, 50% way through my U-turn, and then I see him pull up hella fast, get to the stop sign, and he sees me about to complete his U-turn. Like, all he has to do is just, like, wait an additional two seconds, and then he, like, pulls up, and I, and I break. And then I start driving, then he pulls up, and then I break. And then he, like, he kept, like, gas breaking, gas breaking, like, kind of, like, punk faking me. I'm like, bro, I'm like, what? And I start waving my hands. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? What are you doing? And then he just stops and I continue driving. Wow, what but a he, dick. He got me to, he got me to do a fucking uh, arm flail. I was like, I was like, what the? I was like, what do you want, dude? I was like, why, why are you doing this? But he had the horns. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and uh, and then um, as it was happening, I'm like, bro, those, I was like, that's the fucking horn car. I'm like, that's fucking Danny Duncan. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Wow, you should have told him that at the party. <laughs> hey, you hey, you almost fucking fucked my car up, you <laughs> dicks. You tried to hit my girlfriend's car, you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> he had been like, what the fuck? 
all right yo uh another random topic here i just wanted to add this because i think this is a i know this is a bullshit topic but it's a bullshit topic that everyone's talking about right now everyone's posting everyone keeps posting on instagram california schools could ban flaming hot cheetos under new bill like this is like clickbait when you see such click when you see california banning hot cheetos it just immediate click but you're like oh i want to i need to see this like for some reason right they banned hot cheetos years ago when my sisters went to uh um bancroft middle school um they sold hot cheetos at the kiosks there and when um, and when they when they went to high school they sold hot cheetos in the vending machines and at the kiosks there and at a certain point um and also gatorades hot cheetos gatorades like other stuff too at a certain point california like enacted a rule where they're like that's too much sugar mm -hmm. too much sodium and they couldn't sell hot cheetos um or gatorades no more and that's it like the i went to the same schools my sisters went to and they didn't sell no hot cheetos they didn't sell no gatorades they did at mine people mm -hmm. had to bring it like that's why like uh you know kids but it was baked baked hot oh, cheetos yeah, i remember the baked yes which are sorry I don't, I don't think they're that bad. I think they're nasty. They have like a weird fucking flavor. Like it tastes like an onion to me. I don't know why. It's, I always thought they were nasty. I don't think they're that bad. But uh, I don't even think we had baked. I remember like literally that's why all the kids who sold snacks, like that's why they had such good business is because the school had like fucking, you know, apple slices or some shit But like you that. could bring your own. You, it's not banned. No, ex exactly. It's banned for the school to, to sell, sell it. yeah. It's not banned for you to bring it. And that's why it's clickbait. It's just such stupid news where I'm just like, bro, like, this is, like, if you look into it, like, if you grew up in LA, you know it's already banned. They've been not been, a uh, been able to sell that stuff. Mm -mm. They weren't, uh, at all my schools, they weren't able to sell Gatorades because Gatorades had too much sugar. We had Powerade. And we had Gatorade. We had Gatorade in my high school. In the little bottles, though. <laughs> in the vid vending machines. That was the serving size? Mm -hmm. But then what if you buy four of them? I don't know. It's probably too expensive. <laughs> Either way. I think they were a dollar. Oh, really? Damn. I was, <coughs> or I, two. I, I was telling Toke, uh, I, this is forever going to be my when I was a kid story, bro. Because it's like, it's not around <laughs> anymore. But for real, when I was a kid, when I was on my way to uh, middle school, um ralph's all grocery stores they had sales um for all the candy bars and it would be three for a dollar you can get butterfingers paydays snickers anything you want three for a dollar and then you would buy those for a dollar then go to school then sell each for a dollar you're never gonna find a candy bar for three for a dollar now maybe even 99 cents ain't doing that shit yeah no that they shit, don't that shit's 98 cents over there isn't that crazy <laughs> bro that's in fucked up inflation i should have kept all those candy bars <laughs> <laughs> to this day <laughs> i should have kept all of them what the fuck you know, um also i wanted to say um guys we didn't have a chance to go to the p.o box this week unfortunately um but next sunday don't worry we'll be o uh, opening up all the packages next sunday on 10 talks if you guys want to send us anything the the description i mean the address is in the description it's uh, p.o box 11535 burbank california 91510 but Apologies to Lifted Rocks. I believe he said he sent some stuff over, so we will be opening that stuff next episode. Mm -hmm. For sure. When's the next time we're going to have a guest? I don't know. I feel like it's always awkward with a guest because it's like we're all squished on here, and I'm like, it's like hard to look at yeah. each other. Oh, wait. Speaking about being all squished on here, guys, um, RIP Piss Couch. We have found some new chairs. I was thinking about adding them today, but we didn't have a chance yet. You guys haven't seen them yet, but I think they look unique. Like, Riley and I have been going through, like, you know, OfferUp and, like, other places trying to look look for chairs that look u unique and cool that would fit the vibe in here. Because the couch is cool because, you know, when the homies come over and they get sleepy or something like that, they could just, like, fall asleep here. Or Riley gets mad at me, I could sleep here, too, or something like that. It's, like, comfy in that way. But... Other than that, it, it's a hassle, bro. It's so cramped in here. You know what I mean? Like, it covers up the whole background. So, it makes way more sense for us to have, like, chairs. And then eventually, I want to get rid of this table and get, like, a tiny little cool coffee table. Like, a unique small coffee table, mm -hmm. you know? But I want to evolve the set a little bit more. Um, but I want to get rid of this this couch and put these, like, you know, cool chairs that we found. I think they're cool. I, I think they're cool, too. I don't know if they're going to be, like, two hours comfortable cool, though. I know. That's what I'm thinking about. Can we sit in them for two hours? The back yeah. is what's going to be uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. We have to test. We'll try it out for a pod. Yeah. So next next episode, not only are we opening up the P.O. boxes, but um, we'll be, uh, whatchamacallit, um, 
in a <laughs> in some new chairs <laughs> sitting in some new chairs i guess it's gonna look a little bit different and some new thrones yes um also yo, i was gonna say guys with the with this new you know kick thing like guys on youtube i constantly have this anxiety of uh, not only like of my you know sh my stream gets taken down like all right whatever we just go to kick but youtube keeps hitting me with these like unjust you know third third uh third party third party copyright strike shit right like that stuff like it really is bad for the channel so it's like with too many of those it's like you know it can get very risky for the channel so like when i'm streaming on youtube sometimes especially with the irl streams i'm like bro like am i risking my channel right now like what's gonna happen i always have this like anxiety behind my back but streaming on kick not only do they um you know uh, are we, like are we on the program now with that which is super fire like they're helping out with that but we can listen to music all like, there's like so much more freedom on there so guys i really think that we will be like doubling down on like streaming on kick way more especially with the irl streams so for anyone that uh, you know tunes in and watches us on youtube guys we will still be streaming on youtube for uh 10 talks harmonious hour and uh and other stuff as well I'll still be doing youtube streams but um all the irl stuff and damn you're like all the all the like yeah idea like streams like anything where we leave the house and any like idea thing oriented like we're just gonna do it on kick to be honest and i'm just gonna try to focus on getting clips and and stuff edited uh to be posted on youtube but we're just gonna focus way 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 more on kick at this point mm -hmm. but the podcast and stuff is gonna stay here because kick vods only stay up for 30 days so oh, okay so if I do a stream on Kick, you guys can only rewatch that stream for 30 days. So after 30 days, it gets taken down. Um, on YouTube, it stays up forever. You know what I mean? So we could do a podcast and then like it stays up indefinitely type stuff. So, um, yeah, YouTube, like, bro, guys, it's a, uh, it's literally, it's YouTube's fault, I guess. But then also, it's not YouTube's fault because YouTube's such a huge. You know how much, you know how much content gets uploaded to YouTube every day. Mm -hmm hundreds of thousands like millions of hours of footage gets uploaded to youtube every day you know what i mean like i unfortunately have somehow triggered this you know this algorithm on youtube where they're like this guy equals bad you know what i mean so i need to somehow again contact with someone in youtube that can like flip that for me and help me out once that happens like i could focus more on youtube and have a better time here but for now you know kick is actually fucking with us so we're going to spend way more time on youtube for sure and I was telling Riley she sh she should hop on Kick as well, cause Riley like actually is like a you know uh, she even said she would like to try to learn how to be a DJ. But you yeah, low key are a DJ, like you have like hella music you know selections. Yeah, that is true. I do have a good music choice. And every time you're on doing your streams, like you're limited to Razo. Wait, shout out to Razo, <laughs> Razo but like you, you, shout out Razo. You just keep listening to Razo over and over and yeah. over and over again. So like, you want to switch it up and listen to other stuff as well. And synth wave. And synth wave, yeah. So like, I feel like it would be cool if like Riley got to go on on kick and then actually do some uh, DJ streams. You know, like play music that she wants, and then uh, you know, I'm sure it'll, like it'll fit your vibe better. You get into the vibe way more if you're listening to music you actually enjoy. You oh know? yeah, it makes me way more happy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But either way, yo guys, thank you every single person who joined the stream. Appreciate you guys so much, man. <laughs> we love you. We're going to wrap it up here. Um, and then uh, we'll catch you guys for uh, like, I don't know, maybe like a 20, 30 minute, uh, like, uh, yeah, 30 minute after show and like maybe like 10 minutes, guys. We're going to wrap up this one right here and then we'll, uh, we'll schedule the after show. But if you guys can drop a like before you guys head out, drop a comment, <laughs> sing it. whatever you want. Yes. <laughs> and then also drop a sub if you guys haven't already. Um, w, everyone. Um, thank you guys so much for coming through. Once again, let's try to do a smooth outro every time I forget to unmute this, but hold on. Let's do this. All right. Yo, W everyone. Thank you guys so much, man. Peace guys. Peace. <laughs> Better hurry. Spark it up with no worries. Harmonious gang with the big bro, Yuri. Hyphy. Get lit just like me. Big boss up. Chop it up with Riley. You better come with it and kick rocks because you now tuned in to 10 Talks. Now let's get lifted and take a shot. You are now tuned in to 10 Talks.